guys, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to make ourselves look like a character we know nothing about. You guys constantly ask me to cosplay. Someone from this and then Poshmark reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want to collab again? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Some of my patrons have asked, can you please show us how to build a costume without buying a costume or making a costume? So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use one of my favorite tools in the world, Poshmark, to make a Mal costume from the Descendants. I'm just basing this off of images, clips that I've watched on YouTube. I don't know much about this show. I don't know much about this series. But Poshmark, just because you get up to speed, is an online resale store. I love to use it for cosplay as well as just everyday things. A lot of what they sell is luxury brand items. Me being a designer ho, absolutely loves this site. Shall we begin assembling our costume? I'm going to use this picture right here of her. The material of this costume seems to be very, very specific. Honestly, I doubt we're gonna find any material like this. However, painting exists. We're gonna go for leathers that have the same like undertone as her clothing and then we can jazz it up later. Closet cosplay, best you can. This seems to be her main ensemble of the movie. Here she is with some weird arm things, but we're not gonna do the arm things because I don't want to. Let's start with the jacket thing. I highly doubt I'm gonna find this weird jacket vest thing. It kind of has like a dark purple, so I'm just gonna go with dark purple leathers for all of the leather. Looks like she has some kind of reptile skin, so we'll do purple snake skin jacket. Okay, cool. So we have a blazer, very usable fabric. It doesn't work for the jacket. She is kind of like a weird belt thing and it's only $7 so we can make a belt out of this jacket. We're gonna part that. Free with $10 purchase cute light jacket. Um, weird $10 purchase. What does that mean? Uh, Suicide Squad Joker Halloween costume. That's pretty great. Snake skin zip up jacket purple. Heck yeah. $15. Bargain hunting. Wow, look at this bomber jacket. That's a that's a look. Purple leather jacket. Vintage purple motorcycle jacket. That's pretty neat. Oh, I don't like the designs on this. This fringe number though, that's fun. There's a cropped zipped moto jacket. It's a bit more expensive than I'd like to do this for. However, we're gonna heart it and see if we can negotiate a lower price if that's the jacket we decide to go with. What's this? DIY Halloween costume? Guys, someone's selling what I'm doing right now. Someone DIY'd a Mal costume and is selling it. My daughter was Mal from The Descendants last Halloween. We made the jacket out of a... It's my size though. Did they put duct tape on it? Iconic. Hot pink tape, duct tape, oh, spray painted. Purple. That's not a bad idea. Faux leather moto jacket, $20. Oh, I like the spikes on this one. This one looks a bit more like hers. I think I like that one best so far. Let's go on to her undershirt, which looks like a purple turtleneck. Leather turtlenecks. This faux full leather skirt. The top of it kind of looks like her belt. That could work maybe. And we could use the excess leather for God knows what. Gucci colors, athletic wear. Not today, Satan. Look at these purple yoga pants. This is perfect, it's already the belt. It says pink on the back. We just won't. Purple snakeskin belt. Let's try to make like the, the tinier belt thing that she has. Well, here's these belts that are like actually built. Two vintage, genuine snakeskin. What if we found like three purse handles? Just take the handles off of the coat. Yeah, this might be not a bad idea. So for her pants, they just look like the naked skin leather, but they're not as snaky looking. So I think just like leather pants will be fine, but we'll go with snake skin still. Snake skin, purple leather pants. That is our options. Let's go with purple leather pants. Winter riding pants. Mm, no, that's okay. So we may have to go with a black pant. I wasted leather pants. Here's some small, medium, large. Which size is it? Please tell me. I'm, I'm very curious. Size small, 28. That's 
some very snake skin. But you know what? It's $28. We will definitely save that one for leather. For leather. <laughs> for later. What even is this? These look pretty good. Polyurethane. That doesn't sound tasty. Snake skin leather harm pants. What? These might work actually. Okay. So we're gonna look for purple leather gloves. She has little fingerless gloves. Oh no, those are like gloves. $35. It's a bit much. Ah, oh, yes. Purple leather flex fit gloves. Perfect. We already have some offers. Private discount of 28% and $4.99 on the Honey Punch vegan leather. Cool. Well, I think that just about does it for this. I'm going to dig through my stuff and see if I can find some gloves I can repurpose. I will wait and see which items are able to be negotiated down to a, a lower price and we'll see which items we eventually get and then you can watch me vaguely destroy them to make this costume. The pants for the Mel costume came in. They fit pretty well. They're a bit big, whatevs. So I think they'll take the paint pretty well. My jacket for Mel came in. How cute it is. It looks like a little present. I thought it was brand new. It does look like a little present. I thought somebody gave you a present. I'm a present to myself, the gift of online cosplay, the character I know next to nothing about. Another present, or maybe it's part of the costume. A little keychain. It's a little tassel. Hi, Cutty. I'm doing Mal from The Descendants for a video. Do you know anything about The Descendants, Kenny? Oh, it might be high enough. This I actually seems to be choreographed it. And that's all that's really all I got. Ooh. Oh, you know, this nice. fits surprisingly well. This actually well. might fit. It's purple already. Very dark purple. It looks purple. blue. It's like a bluish purple. But I think she only needs to be cut to about here, if that. You roll it up and you pin it so that we don't destroy the zipper. I don't know if it even needs to be cut. I feel like it'll look okay. We'll see how it looks oh. with the pants and the belt. This totally looked like black on mine. It might be purple. It it's looks been... blue. It's like a bluish purple. If it's perfect, very happy. More descendant stuff has come in the mail. I got the belt snake skin wrap thing off of the flush mark. I cheated and got these off of Amazon. It was just easier to buy a pack of three that were all the same size and they were all that rounded material that I was looking for. The jacket doesn't need to be adjusted at all. Now I'm waiting for my turtleneck thing to come in the mail. I'm gonna paint all this stuff. Oh, and then I also got these fingerless gloves off Poshmark too. I'm just gonna paint them purple. Um, Rachel and I are doing a Uranus and Neptune shoot and I got this dress off Poshmark. If you can't tell, I shop in there a lot. I'm going to get some paint for this Descendants cosplay. Here's all of the purples, purples, purples. Some green, cause I'm gonna just do some like light green on some of the trims and stuff like that. And this teal color, I think I have enough colors to where I can figure out what colors I'm going to use and what's going on because it seems like the movie doesn't even know what colors are going on. I don't know if we have any black paint, but a great hack is to just to look in the clearance. They have a ton of paint in here and here's just a plain black paint for like $1.50. I'm going to be gluing stuff together haphazardly and chaotically for this. And this stuff's meant for shoes. I feel like it will be just fine for clothing. So I forgot shoes are a thing. I already have these. I got them for my Prolia cosplay. And uh, who knows if I'm ever going to do that. I'm going to have to spray paint them black anyways for that cosplay. Hi, Calvin. Found some black spray paint. We're going to spray paint these. How fun, Kevin. While those dry, I'm going to paint this black. I'm going to let that dry and then go over it with some purple paint. I'm going to cut these little belts up and paint them purple. Here the belts are cut up. These had like an adjustable thing on there. I only needed to use two. So I'm going to paint these and then glue them on that. Hi, Calvin. Guess what else is purple? These. We got a lot of purple going on. I'm gonna go over the leather of the gloves with the shiny paint, just to give it some shine. Here's one glove with the paint. I've just kind of gone over all of the leather parts. Here's one glove without the paint. I feel like with the paint, it looks a bit nicer. To darken up the belt, I've mixed some black and purple together, and I've taken some water, diluted it, going over the white areas of this, trying my best to keep some of the texture in here. I don't like all the white peering through. And as I've learned with the belt, the darker color, which was the like camel color of the belt, took to the purple paint better. 
So if you guys are also doing what I'm doing and making this cosplay off of pre-existing materials, go with a darker color because the paint will take to that a lot better. Both of the gloves done. Those are drying. We're waiting for the belts to dry. I went over those with the metallic purple because I think that'll look nicer and cooler. She's got like a lot of weird metallics in her costume. Continue descending. I am continuing my descending. Hello, I'm in my bra for like the fifth time in this video. I am so sorry. It's nothing you wouldn't see on a beach. It's time to paint these things. I'm just gonna be looking at a reference image of her pants and then painting on her weird designs on these pants. You can't really see it, but I'm pretty certain I have her designs drawn on with some Sharpie. And now we're going to paint it on. I think it might be easier to paint this with them not on my body. I'm just gonna like mark where like my knee bends in and where I think other details and stuff needs to go. Here you can see a lot better where I've drawn in the designs. There's some parts where I've messed it up. This side has the better like drawings on it as opposed to this one. So we're going to <laughs> kind of like use this one as more of the guide than this side. Here's the front of the pants fully painted. We're gonna let that dry a bit. While that does that, we're gonna start altering the jacket. To alter the jacket, it's going to be very simple. She kind of has like a very slight cap sleeve. I'm just going to cut along right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lining. The lining's doing something weird. And it's already got like a purpley, bluish black look to it. I'm gonna just like go over it with the mix of the teal and purple, maybe some black just to give it more dimension and have it match what we've been doing to the pants and other accessories. And then go over that with the green. It's all painted. I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna seal it. Actually, I'm gonna glue down the strips of the belt. There's the belt. Glued down. It has come to my attention via my friend Sophie that Mal turns colors. She starts off purple and green and becomes blue because apparently Maleficent f***ed Hades or whatever. The colors I've been painting, this, has all been kind of a split the difference. I've been using like blues in there with the purples and stuff like that and like it seems like that's what they're going for in the movie anyways to probably foreshadow her lineage with wardrobe. Um, but I'm mad because I've, I've been blaming Disney this entire time for inconsistencies when really it's just me not having watched the source material of which I've been painting things for all day. Anyways, I'm gonna set it with this clear ultra gloss. I think this is meant for furniture, but um, I don't want to wear this and the paint crack off, so. Everything's sealed and we're gonna let them dry. And I have put way more effort into this than I would like to admit. Here she is, you all done. I made you some adjustments on how I attach the belt. What do you think, Kevin? We're gonna watch The Descendants now that I've made a cosplay for The Descendants. I can't open the tequila. All right, so we got our tank top. Purple doesn't quite match, but we're literally setting up for the makeup tutorial and guess who didn't paint? the strike on there. But it's pretty easy. We're going to use the green color that we've been using for all the other green details on the costume and then we're going to cut the sleeves off because A, we don't see her sleeves in the show. B, Calvin's licking my fingers and uh, whatever Calvin says goes. And C, this whole thing is just a bunch of pleather and is very hot. There she is, a green stripe. We're just gonna do it on the front because the hair is gonna cover it up in the back anyways. And here's the completed look. Mal is all done, she's squeaky, she's full of leather, and she's very hot to wear. Thank you so much for watching my chaotic process vlog. I've just moved, so next time I do something like this, it'll be much nicer shot, I promise. You guys have been asking for a while for me to A, cosplay Mal, so here you go, please stop asking, and B, have asked me how do you make a cosplay that isn't just completely hand-sewn or just bought from a store? And this is how you do it. You take stuff that works and you make it work even more. Or just 
paint it a lot. So I hope this is helpful for anyone who's looking to make cosplays in this fashion or anyone who's just looking to cosplay Mal from The Descendants. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. I really do recommend them as a site to get cosplay pieces from. And for when you're downloading the Poshmark app to not only shop my closet, but your favorite brands. Perhaps you'd like one of these iPhone cases I have lying around. Or if that's not suiting your fancy or phone, jumpstart your own Poshmark cosplay by getting one of these lovely clothing items seen in my shop. Be sure to click on the link below to shop or use my discount code Mishkuli for $10 off your first purchase. This has been a lot of fun. It's definitely been a journey and I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video you just watched. If you guys want to take the Poshmark challenge that I'm just now making up, please do so. Make an entire cosplay off Poshmark, like as far as clothing is concerned. And tag me in it, tag Poshmark in it, show off your skills. A huge thank you to Poshmark. Please check them out, download the app, check out my closet. Thank you guys so much. Let me know in the comments below what character you'd like to see me create off Poshmark next or what character you're going to make off Poshmark. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye. And it's so squeaky. We love a sticky costume.